Hey everybody, welcome to the latest in what I'm playing. This week we're going to like hard control, like boa constrictor levels of control. Um, we'll run through this one quickly here. Um, what we would like to see in our opening hand or very early in the game, 33rd Recon Regiments, just because they're good at clogging up the battlefield against aggressive decks. They help draw cards, just a great all-around unit for what we're trying to do. And then, uh, you know, Desert Rats is good early interaction. Fifth Brigade, really good at stopping uh, burn, really aggressive decks. Uh, Radar Alert, kind of a hidden, you know, strong card in this one, because I think not a lot of people expect Radar Alert, so it's kind of a surprise, um, and it kind of gets people. Uh, you know, it, 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 that's one of the ones that if you don't have those in your collection, you know, there's other things you can put in there. Uh, naval power really good at, you know, stemming the tide against uh, aggressive decks or burn. Amphibious assault really good at taking stuff out. Then our heavy, heavy hitters, carpet bombing and Empire of the Sun. Empire of the Sun, man, I don't think I've drawn less than four cards off of an Empire of the Sun while blowing up the biggest unit on the enemy team carpet bombing just we want to induce lots of small units onto the battlefield and then sweep them all away and uh the reason why we kind of have uh last rights in this deck is because of empire of the sun not necessarily for the kamikazes but for just because we get eight more cards in our deck because uh one issue that you sometimes <laughs> run into this one is actually you play almost your entire deck so you actually need the little bit of buffer uh, and then we're playing 48 cards while our opponent's only playing 40. Then uh, we have our Cornerstones, Takasagi Regiment, Churchills, and the Grenadier Guards, kind of just the really good guard units. You know, if you want to flip this one to Japan and Great Britain, maybe the Chinu could find a home in here. Then we have three Spitfires. Um, I've been tempted to go up to the full complement of four Spitfires and maybe drop a Naval Operations and uh, see how that goes. But we're gonna go with this build for now, but that might be something you wanna consider throwing this fourth Spitfire in there. Um, but other than that, you know, that's our Boa Constrictor hard, hard control deck. So uh, if you like our content, please consider supporting it on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash cards podcast, or uh, follow us along on tw uh, Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash cards podcast. And uh, you can see this kind of stuff in action every week. So let's check it out and let's uh, get after it. And up here is type 051. Um, they're on a German build, so we'll hold on to Monty. He tends to be pretty good against the Germans. Uh, carpet bombing, we'll throw back naval power. We'll hold on to that. All right, so two fifth brigades, sure. We kind of wanted this to be a 33rd guards, but... Or, excuse me, 33rd recon, but whatever. Too late now. All right, infantry regiment for our opponent. Let's just pick that off. Because that could mean a Panzer 35 coming down. Or three point. Okay, so this is probably like a Blitzkrieg deck. All right, so let's get our fifth brigade number one out there. That's what I imagine with the three point seven. Okay, yep. All right, and a sudden strike. Okay, so our opponent's gonna be playing very aggressive. All right, well let's amphibious assault down the jeep. And we'll pass the turn back. So it's a dangerous part of the game for us here. We kind of got to weather the storm here for about three or four turns. All right, so we can... Let's go with... Let's send the Panzer back to their hand, and we'll drop a 5th Brigade. If we, can, if we can weather this early onslaught, then we can recover a lot. But it's important to remember that they can easily drop a Blitzkrieg on us and just spike the game out of nowhere, and that would kind of stink, so. All right, there's that Panzer coming back. Okay. All right, so 5th Brigade getting the job done. All right, this Naval Operations is nice, cleaning up those two. That was a good top deck. All right, so our opponent, they, I, they have plenty of Blitz stuff, though. All right, Comet. Comet's a pain. But now we can shut that down with a uh, Takasagi. So that shuts down the Comet. Good to know the Comet's coming, though. 
All right, so another flak, flak truck. So now is kind of where we're starting to turn the corner a little bit. All right, from the deep. Okay, we'd rather have that take out a 33rd than a Grenadier Guards in this matchup. All right, bloody sickle for our opponent again. If they don't take the front line here, we're going to move this Grenadier Guards. Even if they do, we might bounce whatever they put up here and then use the Grenadier Guards. All right, Air Blitz. Okay. We're definitely going to bounce this uh, flak truck still and move our Grenadier Guards into the front line and drop a Churchill. That might, hopefully, will give us enough of a HQ boost to weather any further air blitzes. So we're kind of have to be a little bit more aggressive with this one. All right, four pioneers. Okay, that's what we like to see. All right, so let's get a Churchill on the front line. Let's get a Churchill guarding the base again and go after their base. And now we really got them on the back foot. Next turn, we're going to Monty them. And I wouldn't be surprised if our opponent's thinking about scooping it up here, because now we've turned off Blitzkrieg. They're bloody sickling their own base. Like to see that. All right, Siberian transfer, so probably going to trade off here. All right. So those Grenadier Guards soaked up a lot of damage. Blackout for our opponent. Okay. And remember, we turned that Comet off for now. So let's just get our attacks in. Drops our opponent down to five. Yeah, we might as well use our bombing raid now just to keep the pressure on our opponent. Now they got to get rid of both of these Churchills, and I don't think an aggressive German deck like this is going to have enough to destroy two Churchills in the front line. Just a bunch of little tanks. We get our Empire of the Sun, which we didn't need. We're just going to end this one and get a opening win here with our hard control. All right, so next up here is Oogie0091. We're going to be on the draw, huh? All right, they're playing Alexandria, too. Okay, put the Churchill and the Spitfire back, see what we get. All right, 5th Brigade's good, and we would just cycle a Churchill, I guess. All right, Swordfish, okay, that could be... That could mean a couple of things. We could CBC and maybe a Naval Support deck or a Precision Bombing deck. All right. Lot of small planes for our opponent. Okay. Well, hmm. I'm tempted to go Monty here. I think we will. We'll go Monty to just pin that back line down. All right, if we can get to turn eight, we're looking great, but I don't know if we'll get there. We can draw some cards off of our 33rd recon here, off this gladiator. That's nice. And we can use our amphibious assault. All right, a hurricane. All right, let's take out that hurricane. Because that can cause us some problems. So let's get rid of that. Let me drop a 5th Brigade next turn. To It won't stop these swordfish, but we're just trying to get up to 8, really. All right, that's trouble. Finest hour for our opponent. Get to draw a card off of it, though. That's nice of them. All right, another gladiator. Okay. Hmm. All right. We're a little bit in trouble here. They're down to one card in hand, though, so if we can work our way through this, then we're feeling much better. Let's go with a bombing raid on this gladiator. Destroys that gladiator and gets us down to three uh, defense again. Then next turn we can come after it with a daylight bombing. Sorry, I hit the mic there. And we still, this is the first damage they've done to our HQ, so that's good. All right, a 5th Brigade, that's fine. All right, we have an Empire of the Sun, yep. All right, let's get rid of this Swordfish. Now we're just taking minimal damage from these others. Still working towards that 8. All right, another Gladiator, okay. All right, all right, and then we get a... Desert Rats, so that's good. I think we're going to go with a 5th Brigade. We're going to activate a Radar Alert, and then we're going to take out this Swordfish, because this 5th Brigade can buy us a little bit of time. 
And then if even if they drop a hurricane or something like that, we get a hurricane in return. Alright, Skua? Okay. We do get something in return, though. We get a Skua of our own. And it's behind this guard, so they can't just come after it. Excuse me. Alright, so they're going after the 5th Brigade. That's fine. 5th Brigade is tough. So let's go with... Hmm. Well, this school is going to get in a couple of times, but next turn we're carpet bombing for sure. So let's go with another 5th Brigade and a Churchill. We're going to take two more, but we can almost sweep the board clear with a carpet bombing. Then next turn we can come in with an Empire of the Sun if they drop something enormous. It's got a nice defensive shell built up here. If they want a Skua, our Skua, even better. Feeling okay. We're feeling okay. We got a little dicey there. It was a little dangerous for us there for a couple of turns. See what they do. All right, Hurricane of their own. Okay, that's fine. We can. We're just going to carpet bombing that away. All right, they do go after our HQ. All right, so let's carpet bombing all their stuff. All they're left with is a single 5th Brigade, so a nice four for one there for us. And we still have our defensive shell built up here. Bomb it with a Skua next turn. We've gotten through most of their bombers. I think that's so fun to do. All right, another Skua for our opponent. All right, they Skua our Skua. All right, let's get rid of that. Well, let's see. Let's get rid of that 5th Brigade. And let's move our Churchill. Get rid of their Skua. Drop a 33rd Recon. And let's pass the turn back at this point. Could have played another 5th Brigade there, but I think we're okay. I think we want to hold on to because they might have some trickery. You know, we don't want to throw all of our stuff away to a carpet bombing of their own. All right, so let's take out this hurricane with the desert rats. Let's move forward. Let's get some attacks in. Put a fresh 5th Brigade out. Let's move this other 5th Brigade up. Opponent's still on one card in hand. And we don't have a lot of attacks, so even if they do have an Empire of the Sun or something of their own, it's fine. Um, all right, we'll naval power back their 5th Brigade. Start chipping away at their HQ. Just keep our defense, our defensive 5th Brigade back here. And this is kind of the strangling out our opponent here. Like, we're making them pay for it now. I think right now we're going to use our Empire of the Sun to draw three, which is actually a relatively weak Empire of the Sun, if you can believe it. But we can get some attacks in still, and we get to draw an extra card, so we'll do that. Do a nice grip still. Opponents on two cards and a damaged 5th Brigade. Feeling okay. All right, Kitty Hawk for our opponent. Probably take out... Yep. All right, but we have a, we'll drop a six guards behind them. Let's um, let's draw a card off this fifth brigade f first. That's that's great. Take out the fifth brigade, and then let's hit their HQ, and let's pin this uh, kitty hawk. I can't remember. I always get that. I always want to say war hawk, but that's the American one. And uh, we're feeling pretty good here. A zero for our opponent. All right, we get to draw one more card off of it. That's fine. And we get a Takasagi. Perfect. So now we drop our Takasagi. We move up our Grenadier Guards. Let's take out the Kitty Hawk just to keep some battlefield control. And let's drop a Churchill, too. So we have a lot of tough... But relatively strong units. These Grenadier Guards do a lot of work. Alright, so was that a Hurricane Mark II? Yeah, Mark IIA. So the Fury Hurricane. The Furicane. 
All right. Um, well, let's take out the zero. It does a lot of damage to our Churchill, but that's okay. Let's put the Furicane back in their hand. Whack their HQ and whack their HQ and whack their HQ. So they got to do a lot of work to get out of this spot. We haven't even seen our Spitfires. All right, Burning Sun. I think this is them kind of conceding the game here. Yep. So there we go. Good game for us. And another win. All right, so Type 051 is back. Um, well, if they're still in their German aggressive deck, then we got a pretty good hand against that. So since we're playing a, a same opponent here, we'll probably uh, throw an extra game in. Go with our 33rd Recon to start. At least one extra game in here for for the stuff that we're working on. All right, let's get our 5th Brigade out there just to get a little more information before we start using our Desert Rats. All right, see? Because now we'll Desert Rats this 22nd Infantry because they're far more dangerous than anything else our opponent's going to play. Take out the Desert Rats. Take out the car. And draw a card. And we'll take out the Light Infantry. And yeah, it hurts our 5th Brigade, but if they want to burn a Blitzkrieg to take out a 5th Brigade, then you can go for it. All right, so K Katie's interesting, though. That's going to be a pain to try and get through. Okay, great top deck for us. Let's take out Katie. Take out the little 300, was it 321st? Take that out. We get to draw a card. Let's drop a fresh 5th Brigade out there. We kind of know what our opponent's game plan is. All right, the Falschmir Jaeger is pretty good, but we're going to put that back in their hand. Well, mm, nah, we're going to blow it up. Blow it up with a daylight bombing. We're just trying to manage the threats for the time being. We're going to draw another card with our 33rd, so we get the full draw three off of our 33rd recon, which is great. We're up to six already for credits. All right, a sudden strike takes out our healthy thirty th or our healthy fifth brigade. But now we can drop a uh, Takasagi out there. The reason I go with Takasagi there instead of a Grenadier Guard or a Churchill is one, I get to move this fifth brigade to the front line. Two, it makes that nobody likes blowing up the Takasagi because they don't want to discard to it. Because it's like an automatic two for one if they use removal on it. And three is that the Takasagi is cheap and it can attack back. So now we're going to take out this Panzer. We're going to get a Churchill out there to help out our Takasagi. Got our shell built up. All right, bloody Sickles. We, we kind of shrug off Bloody Sickles with this deck. Air Blitz for our opponents, so that's kind of a desperation air blitz. Alright, so let's drop a 33rd Recon and a Spitfire. Spitfire is more important to guard than the 33rd Recon, because either they're going to hard remove the 33rd Recon, or they have to damage it. And right now we have a three-turn clock on the battlefield, so a Sudden Strike, so they hard remove our 33rd, but that's okay. All right, good enigma by our opponent there. They got a, quite a few draws off of it, but we have an Empire of the Sun waiting in the wings. All right, they pin our Spitfire, so they got lots of stuff going on. They've cooked a ton of bloody sickles on our stuff, though. All right, so a little more battlefield management here. Daylight bombing. Let's get our last rights on. Oh. Let's get our last rights online. And we're actually going to move this Churchill forward. We still got the guard set up here. Like in curling, like we still have our guard. All right, Siberian transfer, that's fine. Unless they have a Ural Factories, we're really not that worried about it. All right, Panzer, 
And if this T-34 blows up, whatever. All right, little Jeep, that's fine. Another blackout, okay. All right, so we're gonna carpet bomb all their stuff. And then we're gonna sit tight behind our Takasagi regiment. All right, another Jeep, another Enigma for our opponent, okay. I mean, I think we're just playing more powerful stuff than our opponent can handle, really. All right, so they Takasagi and they lose their Blitzkrieg, well, one of their Blitzkriegs, but that's why we held on to our Grenadier Guards. Our Grenadier Guards go down. We're gonna take out the Jeep. And we buzz that HQ. Get that clock going, so now we got them down to a two-turn clock. Multiple bounce and removal orders in hand. Kamikaze, sure. I mean, if we string together our whole bunch of kamikazes here, make it even better, sure. Keep the string going. All right, great. Buzz that HQ. And if our opponent can beat us, then they can beat us, but we're in a pretty powerful position at this point. Bloody Sickle, sure. So Kamikaze wins it for us. You know, maybe our opponent's just dumping a whole bunch of stuff on the bat. All right, Blitzkriegs, sure. That's why we got our guard set up. Another Blitzkrieg, okay. That's interesting. All right, so they get our Grenadier Guards and they take out our Spitfire as well. All right, but, you know, good top deck. We're made to weather those kind of storms, so that's fine. I mean, even if our opponent had tons of good stuff, we could have just top decked a Kamikaze there and won the game. We have all kinds of these by all our naval powers buy us time. Our carpet bombing uh, clears the field. You know, our Monty, he buys us a turn. Empire of the Sun, we haven't even had to engage it yet. And we're going to move these Grenadier Guards forward because we got the Churchill to guard the HQ still. And we have this Panzer pinned. So, I mean, they need a lot out of their bag of tricks. And notice again, they're down to five cards. They're down to five cards in their deck. And now let's just Kamikaze them out. That's the ball game. So another nice win there against uh, poor Type 95. We are or Type 051. We are built to prey on those kind of decks. All right, and now we're up against Nurple. I think Nurple's been in our stream a couple of times, so good to see Nurple out there. Throw Last Rites back, throw the Churchill back. They're on Japan, so we're going to throw the Daylight Bombing back, too. These two are good against um, Burn, so it's 5th Brigade. All right, so they have a 33rd of their own, and they Bloody Sickle it for the draw, too. Okay. Next level play there. All right, we'll just drop our own 33rd Recon. We're going to be a step slower for sure, but we have our 5th Brigade. He's going to kind of hopefully bridge... Be a nice bridge for us. All right, we're gonna move our thirty-third forward there. Could have put out the fifth brigade, but if we can take out this Katie with a thirty-third, that'd be great. We get a draw and take out a very powerful unit. Sure. All right, type ninety-three. All right, so it looks like we won't. We need to draw one. Okay, we get a desert rat. So, so even if they take down our 33rd with the KD. We can we can come back. All right, so that's fine. We'll definitely make a trade for uh, Katusha with a 33rd recon. All right, so a lot of powerful stuff out there for our opponent. So we gotta make sure we get up to eight so we can sweep away the board. Let's first off take out KD. Let's drop our 5th Brigade out there so we can just soak up some some damage. I have to imagine maybe a Me Too or an Akita is on its way. That's where these naval powers really come online. There's the Akita. 
All right, so let's uh, take care of Akita with a naval power for now. Um, yeah, we'll let him draw one. Just to get a unit off the battlefield. All right, Akita's back. Churchill really loves uh, aggressive Japanese decks. Churchill just chews up those kind of decks. And we're just working up to 8 so we can get our carpet bombing online. Okay, so 329th, that's fine. Hmm. I think we got to be patient here. I want to get this radar alert going. I think we got to be patient and go with a Churchill. Because Churchill just dominates very quick Japanese infantry. All right, a lot of Rising Suns going for our opponent, though, but they're already halfway through their deck. Now they're Rising Sun, so they're down to 20 cards in deck, which is a lot for a Japanese deck to see, uh, an aggressive Japanese deck to see in one game. We're just trying to work up to this carpet bombing. Another Type 93. Whew! That's a lot of Type 93s. All right, so, all right, and our 5th Brigade chews up the damage. We'll take out a Type 93, sure. Bloody Sickle, okay. Takes out our 5th Brigade, sure. Okay, well, we get a new 5th Brigade, that's helpful. Drop that down. And let's... Okay, what do we do here? Do we blow up a Type 93, or do we put one back in their hand? I think we got to play for the longer game, so let's put Type 93 back in their hand. That m we could have gone to blow it up, but I don't know. I don't know if that's what we want to do. This Empire of the Sun is going to be really good, though, if we get it against a Type 93 or a Goosed unit later. We're just trying to get to 8. If we can get to 8, then we're going to be fine. All right, Signal Regiment. Okay. All right, and Katusha. Ooh, that's nasty. All right, so when we take out a Type 93, they got quite the synergies uh, going on on their side. Look at all those triggers. Oh, good top deck. We'll take a Monty. Sure. Pin all that stuff down. Let's uh, put a Type 93 back in their hand. And, I mean, they can't move, so they're not going to be able to fire anything off. So let's get a Last Rites online as well. All right, so next turn we blow up a ton of stuff, maybe? All right, so they're deadly dutying. That's fine. We're up. We're still at 19 on our, on our health pool, so we like that. All right, Bicycle Regiment. Okay. Akita. Okay. We're trying to induce as many things as they want to put on the battlefield as they can right now. All right, bombing raid. Ooh, that hurts. Bombing raid's good for them right there. Takes out both of our units and does two damage. All right, well, they can't attack because it's infantry. All right, kamikaze. Let's fire off a kamikaze, actually. All right, another kamikaze. All right, 30 to 15 in terms of cards. Hmm. Let's see, we're taking one, two, three, four. Uh, let's see. I think we got. I think we got to sweep it up a little bit here. We take a whack on our HQ, but we get both of these down to to one each. All right. These these are kind of getting in the way, actually. <laughs> the kamikazes are so we. Kinda didn't really need them, but all right, another bicycle regiment. That's fine. All right, Arctic convoy for our opponent. Okay. Well, we kind of need a guard unit here. Another Akita. Jeez Louise, they just keep coming, huh? Oh, no, we really need a Churchill here. Oh yeah. All right, so Churchill coming down hot. Let's blow up the Bicycle Regiment. 
I know that hurts us for one, but we gotta do what you gotta do. If we could score another carpet bombing too, that'd be great. Alright, type 93 is no good. We kinda need more naval powers actually. Alright, we're running our opponent out of cards though, so that's very helpful. Hopefully we're not too far behind. Alright, we're down to six though. Jeez. Down to five. Yikes, we're in trouble. Alright, last rights of their own. That's interesting. Alright, so down to four. Another Churchill, though. That's great. Let's put that out. Turn on a radar alert, get a 33rd recon out there. Sure. Our, the, the issue is our opponent can self-blow themselves up to uh, get us in trouble. Ooh, and a second raiding brigade. All right, so we get a hurricane out of it, though. Rising sun, shoot. Kamikaze number one. Uh-oh. Oh, Katie. Oh, no. Yep, and now we can't even take out that Katie. Oh, shoot. Our opponent has gotten this one. Oh, and a carpet bombing. A little bit too late. Let's fire it off. Yeah, it costs us a game, but... Nah, what are you going to do? Good good game. Good game by Nurple there. Good game indeed. Here in on the end of this week's videos. Just because, uh, you know, don't want to... We're playing against kind of the same deck twice, so we might as well throw an extra one in. All right. Um, unfortunately, I don't read um, these symbols, if that's Japanese or Chinese. I, I just don't know them, so. Say hi to our opponent. We get our 33rd recon to start, and we might need it here because the Spitfire is a long way off, but we have some delaying tactics. Oops. Hit the, hit the wrong button. All right, don't spam the emotes, though. That's just rude. Don't do that. All right, iron from the north. Okay, early SU. Yeah, okay, I get it. Like, please don't spam the emotes. It's just irritating. And we get a good top deck. So let's pin that SU-76. Please don't spam the emotes if you're out there and you can hear my voice. It's just irritating. All right, let's get rid of this SU-76 and do a little damage to the HQ. We're still a card ahead on our opponent. All right, Panzer 35T, sure. All right, let's put the Panzer back in their hand. Just trying to work our way up to six to get these Grenadier, Grenadier Guards down. Another SU-76. All right. I'm kind of I'm kind of off the uh, the emote spam. Pin that SU-76. Let's play our grand, our fifth brigade. We actually kind of want to leave this SU-76 hanging around for a little bit, so we can uh, Empire the Sun it and just get a whole new hand. Iron from the north from our opponent. Okay, and uh, looked like a tactical strike there. A little bit of a glitch on the thing. All right, so let's drop our Grenadier Guards. Opponent's done nine points of self-damage already. All right, they have an SD. Okay. Dive bombing, sure. Okay. Still take out the Panzer. Okay. All right, let's put the... Uh, well, let's just blow up their SU-76. And um, let's put the... Hmm, nah, let's drop a 5th Brigade instead. You know, next turn we have we can naval power something. Another Iron from the North. Sudden Strike for our opponent, okay. An Enigma, so draw 3, alright. Panzer 35T, okay. Well, a nice naval power will buy us a turn. Pass the turn back. So, perfect. An SU-76 that we can empire the sun. 
Yep, let's do that. Let's draw five and blow up their biggest unit. And we have plenty of things. Okay. Like I said, they can... The I mean, they can draw all they want. They're just going to be playing into our carpet bombings and that kind of thing. They've, do they've done all 12 points of damage themselves as well. You know, first we'll start off with the naval operations. Alright, so let's naval operations away. Three of theirs. And let's go with a Churchill. So, our opponent's got all kinds of cards, but I don't know how much gas they can have left. They're down to 12 cards in their deck. They've done 13 points of self-damage. You know, any more SU-76s, we can just put them back in their hand. No, that's fine. You know, we have plenty more of uh, guards on their way. We go Takasagi and a Churchill. See if they can chew their way through those. I mean, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be surprised to see a Blitzkrieg here. Alright, some more aggressive units from our opponent. I mean, we really wanted to play more units onto the battlefield here. Opponent thinking it over here. Alright, they'll encirclement and get another Jeep out there. Sure. The SD KFZ 222. Sure. Alright, they do have the Blitzkrieg. That's fine. We got plenty of defense. You know, that's fine. I mean, I don't think they can get 18 points of damage in here. Alright, our opponent is all in on the combos here, huh? All right, so I get rid of their last card. And our opponent's going to do, let's see, 10 to our HQ? Okay. Because then I think we just go um, carpet bombing here. Get rid of all their stuff. Put them in top deck mode with eight cards left in their deck. Then we're going to whack their HQ. Then anything they play, we're going to naval power it. So Panzer, it's a perfect... Well, you know... Hmm. Let's go with a Spitfire and let's uh, take out the Panzer instead. So now they have, they have to attack our Spitfire, and they give it up. So, you know, the one thing I would say, please don't spam the emotes. Just please don't do that. It's just a little irritating, and, uh, you know, just get right into our uh, deck tech here. Um, so you can see, even though we're hard control, um, we can handle aggressive decks, for sure. Um, between... 5th Brigades, Desert Rats, and the 33rd Recon in Monty sometimes. We can handle aggressive decks. Radar Alert was kind of disappointing, and that might be an area that I would think about changing a couple cards up. Um, but, you know, our Takasagis, our Churchills got their jobs done. Uh, Spitfires, as long as you take care of them, they get their jobs done. Grenadier Guards, they're great. And then these two heavy hitters up at the top of the curve, the Carpet Bombing and Empire of the Sun. Empire of the Sun, extremely strong card. So uh, that's hard control, and that's going to do it for this week. We're throwing a couple extra games in since we had some repeat plays. But if you like our content, please consider supporting it on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash card. Podcast, or uh, come along for a stream. That's twitch.tv slash cards podcast. That's Mondays at 6.30 p.m. Um, and we're always doing fun stuff there. So come along and hang out in the stream. So uh, thank you for all uh, checking it out, and uh, we'll talk to you next week.